hello. I know y'all like, girl, how many pieces of hair you gonna put on? Listen, now, y'all, y'all, I'm trying to switch it up from the hat wig, so, you know. And if somebody called me, uh, I just want to say rest in peace to my cousin, a very close cousin of mine, sweet, innocent life, taken way too soon, uh, Adrian Jones Jr. And it's it's real heartbreaking. Like apparently it was a killing spree in Houston last night, and today is the ninth, so that would have been last night. The eighth. But it's just I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Like, I don't understand why we have to choose violence. Like, unnecessary violence at that. One of the stories I read, it was self-defense. The other, it was six shootings. One of the stories I read, it was self-defense. But the others, including the one on my cousin, was just flat out shooting for no reason. Like, nine times out of ten, it probably is some type of gang initiation, some type of gang shooting, some type of robbery, some type of like people think that pe like people assume that you have money or that you have this or that you have that and then that's one reason how a lot of people get shot because they think oh well I bet she got a bunch of stuff instead of just robbing the car or robbing the person they got to shoot them other things are beef we take beef to a whole nother level it could be over a girl. It could be over territory. It could be over anything. But we take beef to a whole nother level. And that's not even what I got on here to say. But I'm just going to throw this part in there. We take beef to a whole nother level. Like, I just... I don't... I don't understand it. I, I really don't understand it. And it, it. and it hit different. Like, it hurt. And it hurts because, for one, this man was innocent he had a son he had a mother he just lost his father he had little sisters he had a family he wasn't out in the streets doing stuff he wasn't supposed to be doing like innocent sweet little boy now you know he was being a normal 20 something year old he wasn't out here in these streets like why why did you feel the need to do that i don't understand like what was your purpose what was your purpose? You didn't have a purpose. You just wanted to do some shit. And this is why another reason why I started TTM. Because a lot of the kids that we mentor and that we help come from some type of criminal background. And if I can just find a way and to redirect these young people before somebody on the streets get to them that's older than them and try to guide them in the right way but they're guiding in them they're guiding them in the wrong way if i can get to them before the streets can get to them that's that's gonna lessen all of this like that's gonna bring the statistics down on all of this can i touch every person in houston no as much as i wish i could wave a magic wand and stop violence i would but I can't. So, and that was my cousin calling me. I'm getting a lot of phone calls. But I just, I just had to say that. Like, I had to throw that in there. Um, and I don't know what video this is going to go in. I don't know what part of the video this is going to go in. If this even going to be a video. But, and it, it may be, I might elaborate on it more when I, gather my thoughts and figure out what I exactly have to say about this community because I'm not happy and y'all know me when I don't like something and when I feel like something needs to be said I'm going to say it and there's a lot that needs to be said so with that being said I'll be back we're going we gonna to come we're going to come back to this I'll be back for an elaboration one second Okay, so we back. Uh, yes, I still got this shirt on because it's the same day and like 30 minutes later. But at least I moved to a different part of the house. <laughs> and I changed my glasses. Hey, I did something. Anyway, um, continuing from my conversation that I was having in the car, um, again, you know, I did lose my, my cousin, my step-cousin, 
Still my cousin. Been knowing him since he was like five or six years old. So, I want to talk about... I want to talk about violence amongst black people, but I'm not going to get deep into it. But I, I really... In this video, probably the people who need to hear it probably not going to hear it. And that's cool. I'm okay with that. But at least I said it and at least I did it. Because you never know what the Lord going to do. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> so a lot of these killings are so senseless. Like it hurts my heart, especially with TTM or having TTM and, and dealing with teenagers with criminal backgrounds and trying to help them change before the streets get to them. It, it just hurts my heart to see this happening amongst our people. And <clears throat> this is not a, this can actually be a part of the whole We Matter series, but it's this is not a, to do the whole, uh, when we say Black Lives Matter, but oh, we killing each other. And the, if they killing each other, then Black Lives Matter, like all that bullshit, no, 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 no. no. We're, not, we're not talking about that. We talking about why. And I have yet to figure that out, but I'm not, I don't understand why we have to result to violence for no fucking reason. And I'm, I'm going to cuss because I'm passionate about this. And usually things I'm passionate about, I get to cussing. I'm going to try not to do it a lot, but you're going to hear a couple of cuss words. I, I'm just trying to understand the fuck shit. Like, why? Why are we doing that? Why are we killing innocent people for no reason? Why are we killing each other for no reason? I don't understand it. And it's like, I understand it, but I don't because I know what people come from. So like, let's say for instance, the kids or a kid or whatever, we get in TTM who has a criminal background as a young person. Um, they grow up, they don't have a mentoring program, they don't have people in their lives that can give them a positive path, they don't have these things, so they result to the streets. And these are a lot of people in un uh, unpoverished communities, um, and again, I'm sleepy, so if I fuck up, my bad. These are people who are low income, living in the hood, don't know no better, what didn't have a good uh, positive figure in their life. A lot of them, their daddies probably ain't around because he either a deadbeat or he in jail because some dumbass put him there. Like, yeah, see my other video where I got on that part too. But they don't have positive role models. And whether it's a girl or boy, it don't even matter. Because in the situation with my cousin, it was a girl involved. Sis, what you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Whatever path you think you own, it's going to end up in a jail cell. Because you're going to get caught. Whether you get caught now or later, you going to get caught. And karma is a motherfucker. So you're going to get it one way or another. Period. If you don't get it through the justice system, that half-ass justice system, because, of course, they, they ain't going to look. They ain't going to even try to investigate the shit anyway. Because half the time, they, they don't even investigate the shit anyway. So, whether you get it through the half-ass justice system or karma come back and bite you in the ass, something's going to happen. Because the path you own is not the right one. Especially if you if you taking lives. Innocent lives. Why? Six. Shootings in one night and four murders in one night. What are we doing? I hate it here. I hate it here. What are we? What are we doing, black people? What are we doing? We, you know what? We talk about equality and all this, and you know, but our our main enemy is ourselves because we don't come together. I don't know why. We compete with each other. And I'm talking about black people. I'm not, we're not even finna this. I'm talking to y'all as my people right now. We're not, all that other stuff, put that to the side. I'm talking to us to hold us accountable for our actions and the things that we do. Because see, people be scared. People be scared to talk about certain things 
because of whatever feedback or opinion they get. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not scared. I've never been afraid to speak my mind. It might take me a while because I always have to make sure that whatever I'm about to say is what I want to say. And I have something in my mind to back it up. So I, it might take me a minute because I'm like, well, let me gather all the facts first before I get to open in my mouth. But if I say something, I said what I said. People are going to disagree with you. Everybody not going to agree with you. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. But that does not mean you don't have to say nothing. Because ain't nothing going to get done if you, if you keep your mouth closed. And I ain't the one that's going to keep my mouth closed. I'm loud in country for a reason. I was put here for a reason. And we have to hold each other accountable. Stop doing that. Stop competing against each other and collaborate. If I see a black business or if I see a black nonprofit or if I see just a black person in general, what you need? What you need? I started this nonprofit for youth that are low income, most, mostly minority, for a reason. Because I'm going to try my hardest to guide you on the right path. Now, if you don't follow it, that's on you. I can only tell you where to go. I can only show you the path. I can't make you walk it. But at least I tried. And we need more of that. We need to hold each other accountable. Whether you are a juvenile or an adult, you need to be held accountable. Stop fighting each other. Stop shooting each other. Stop killing each other. Stop robbing each other. Stop, stop. And of course I want all crime to stop, but like I said, right now we talking about us. Stop doing that to your own people. For what? What is your reason? My cousin was an innocent young boy who had a son and a mother and little sisters and a family. What could have been your possible reason to shoot this young man? Why? You didn't have a reason. There is no reason great enough to shoot and kill, shoot or kill anybody or hurt them in any way. Stop doing that. I'm, listen, first of all, I'm too old to fight. I will, if I have to, I will get with your ass quick. But all that moving around and shit, I'm not doing that. I'm going to hit your ass with a one hit a quitter or a two piece and that's it. You, you done. I'm not going to do all this back and forth. Because, uh-uh. Do I have protection? Yes. If it's self-defense, if you come up in here on me and that leg get in your ass, that's different. When you defending yourself, that's different. I know a couple of motherfuckers that, that need to be shot for the shit that they done did to me. If you would an ab ab you abused me and took advantage of my mind, body, and soul, you perverted bastard, all three of y'all, that done done it. Need a couple of pops in the ass. But am I going to do it? No. Have I done anything to harm them? No. For one, that ain't my place. For two, I'm too cute to go to jail and I got too many goals. I ain't got time for that. And I got people that'll do it. Nah, don't even, don't, let them make it. Because like I said, karma is a bitch and I don't want that coming back on you. Let they ass make it. Because I promise you they're going to have a miserable motherfucking life. One way or another, something going to happen. And all of this violence is going to have to stop. If we going to yell Black Lives Matter and Black Lives Do Matter, I did a whole series for a reason. If we are going to yell that, we also at the same time stop killing each other. Stop doing that, especially for nothing. Y'all don't even have no reason. 
It could be gangs. It could be drugs. It could be robbery. Hell, it could be just because I feel like shooting a motherfucker. For what? Why? See, don't nobody hold nobody accountable. Ain't nobody out there in them streets trying to help these young folk. And then they grow up and they have these old niggas telling them all this bad shit and training them for the streets. And then we end up with shit like this. For men and women. Because we not have we don't have enough going on in the community. And I'm speaking on Houston because I don't know about no other place. But we don't have enough going on in the community. And what we do have in the community, y'all don't support it. Y'all don't even help. Y'all don't support it. For those that do, thank you. Bless your heart. That's going to come up on you tenfold. You sowing seeds, you're going to reap a harvest. But for those of y'all, especially them motherfuckers that complain about shit and don't do nothing about it. Because I could be on here talking all this and not be doing nothing about it. But because I am doing something about it, I can say this. I have that right. But it be the main ones that ain't doing shit that always got something to say. What are you doing though? What are you doing about it? Other than posting on social media. Other than hashtags. What are you doing about it? If you see a young person going in the wrong direction, say, bro, hold on. Say, sis, you might, you might not want to do that. You, you might not want to do that. I tell all my kids my story. Had, had not, ooh, had God not put his hand on me, I can't tell y'all where I would be right now. With all the shit that happened to me as a kid, as a teenager, I was out in them streets. I was out in them streets tough. I'm talking about 14, 15 years old. Like having sex with old men, riding the bus by myself to the north side to get to a man because the nigga didn't have no car. I'm talking about a body count I can't even count. Y'all, and if you didn't see, y'all see that right there? Y'all see that right there? If you ain't read it, you need to read it. Because that right there, that's my story. And you see what the name of it is? Troubled. Because that's just what the fuck I was. But for one, I was smart in school. The Lord put his hand on me and said, you know what? Mm -mm. We're not going to do this. We're not going to bring, and I thank God I had grandparents, Mill, June, Dennis. I had people in my life that was not going to let me go that way. That showed me love and affection like, hey, hold on. You, you, you ain't doing it right, and I ain't had no daddy. Okay, so pause moment. Um, you will see me driving and may see me make a weird, crazy, angry face because the person in front of me did not have any brake lights. But anyway, I just want to make this statement before I go into this next part because I don't have time for the bullshit. The cousin that passed away is a part of my stepfather's family. So this is not a disrespect moment. This is a truth moment. And ironically, he lost his brother who was Adrian Jones Sr. a little over a year ago. And before he passed away, he called me when the news came out that my stepdad had molested me. He apologized on his behalf. He was the only person in that family who actually believed me. And I hold that near and dear to my heart. So I just wanted to say that part because I don't have time for it. Don't come for me and I won't come for you. Grandpa passed away. My godfather passed away. My stepdaddy wasn't shit. But a fucking perv. So what the fuck? Oh, you bought gifts. Oh, you paid bills. Oh my God. Oh, you did this. You did that. Who gives a shit? That ain't gonna make up for what you did. But I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. But what I'm saying is, had I not been directed to another path by people who were positive and by God himself, I would have been on the streets right now. My grandpa told me after I sat there and I read that whole troubled book, 
to my grandparents, to Mill and June, in they in they good eighties. My grandpa sat there and told me, he said, Ooh, you blessed because all the stuff you went through, you could be a, a crackhead on the street right now. You should be a crackhead on the street for all the stuff that you done been through and all the stuff that you done did. The fact that you out here writing books and doing all this is amazing. I, I can't even grasp. Like, that ain't nothing but God. Because I really could have been on the streets. I was already in the streets. Doing pills, smoking weed, drinking. I wasn't doing no crack and no shit like that. Hanging around bad people, bad influences, motherfuckers I shouldn't have been hanging around. Roaming the streets of Herm Clark, just ain't scared of nothing. Doing the most. Everybody I dated or had sex with was a drug dealer or a felon. In some capacity. Like, that's the shit that I was on. And I said, no, I can't, I can't let these young folk go that way. Because that way ain't, that ain't the way. So I told myself I was going to take my experience. And every time I get a kid, let me tell you my story. I make all my kids read my book. Even the ones at school, read this. I've had kids at school or in TTM who have literally been on a bad path doing shit they wasn't supposed to be doing and read my book and came back like, dang, miss, you went through all that and you got to heal, but you went through all that? I got to get my life right. And I have watched them start passing class, start playing sports, Start doing all these positive things just because they read that book instantly changed their life. Because is this is this you sure you wanna you wanna go that way? Do you wanna be who I was or do you wanna be who I am? But that's the problem. We ain't doing nothing about it. We ain't holding nobody accountable. We gotta do better as a community. We gotta stop killing each other. We have to stop harming each other. We need to come together. How are we going to fight for something if we can't come together? We can't fight for equality if we're not collaborating. It don't work like that. It's going to take all of us. Like my friend Quentin, New Perspective Development. It's like a brother to me. Wonderful nonprofit. Support the village. That's, that's their motto. Support the village. Y'all ain't supporting the village. Y'all are not holding people accountable for their actions. Am I saying you got to start a nonprofit and just be on the streets stopping kids? Hey, 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 stop. Hold on. Let me let me tell you a story. I ain't saying you got to do all that, but you got to do something. If you can't do something, at least donate to it, whatever. If you can't donate money, donate your time, share a post, do something. Because most people got kids. And you wouldn't want your kid out there in the street with bad influences. So help the others that have lost their way. Because they're going to grow up and think that violence is okay. And then shit like this is going to happen when they start killing each other for no goddamn reason. Stop it. Uh-uh. We're not doing that. I wish... I could take a magic wand and just stop all the violence. I wish I could, but I can't. So the only thing I can do is use my voice. That's the only thing. I can say something about it. I can do something about it. But I can't make it stop. It's, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. But can we at least lower the statistics? They, they, the rates of murder. Of black on black crime. We got to we got to lower that. We gotta do better than that. We got to touch these people. Even if they adults, I help adults all the time, grown men and women. Because you're gonna get to a certain age if the justice system don't get to your ass first. And even if they do, and you come up out of there. 
Because I know a bunch of old men who used to be out in them streets and then did some time, and now they looking back like, what the fuck was I doing? What? I, oh, Lord, I was on a bad path. And now they wise, giving advice, doing all kind of stuff. Because they don't want other people and young people going on that path they went on. Because they a lot older now, so it's like, uh-uh, I've been there. Don't do that. Let, come here, young brother. Come, come here, little, little sister, let me talk to you. Let me, let me tell you what you're doing. And let me tell you where it's going to lead you to. Wisdom. Pay attention. Y'all be trying to write off these old folks. And I got an old soul. So a lot of people call me a grandma. I really am because my soul is old. I, I was raised by grandparents. So I'm a little different. I'm old school. I sound old. When I walk, I look old sometimes. But that's because, for one, I'm ahead of my age. I done been through a lot of, of everything that people do in their 20s. I done did that in my teenage years, so I'm already ahead. I'm already, I swear I'm 40 in my heart. I'm probably pushing 50 sometimes. But we, I just, I, I'm so, I'm just, I'm so taken aback. It's like I'm not even surprised. And that's the problem. We've become so desensitized to shit. Oh, my eyes hurt, y'all. I'm so tired. That we don't even say nothing no more. Like, we to the point where it's like, ah, well, shit. I mean, I guess we lost another one. Um, well, the day keeps going. Six people got shot last night. I'm not surprised. Okay, we're not surprised, but damn, you you ain't going to, you just going to just okay it and just keep going? If you going to make a post when a when a cop kill a black person, can you make a post when a black person kill a black person? Hey, y'all, uh, even if it's a stay safe, don't do this, don't do that. Like my mama tell me, I say all the time, I don't go nowhere at night. Be careful when you go to banks. I don't do purses. I don't do big purses no more because I've been robbed at gunpoint. I have had a gun to my face twice. Twice I've been staring down the barrel of a gun where I could have been killed, shot dead in the head. But by the grace of God, that didn't happen. But I have been robbed one too many goddamn times to be carrying around a purse. Plus, I'm a tomboy. I don't really do purses. I ain't leaving shit in the car. I'd have been robbed too many times in my car. Car have been broken into. Pay attention to your surroundings. I can all that. That, that don't take but a quick second. It don't take but a quick second to make a post or write something or say, hey, hey, black people, we got to do better. The community, we got to do better. Like, we, that's it. It don't even have to be nothing major. Like I said, you ain't got to go out there and start a nonprofit. Just say something. You see something, say something. I know we got this whole no snitching thing. I don't give a good goddamn. If, <laughs> if I see somebody get shot, I'm calling the ambulances. I'm calling the cops, which is kind of fucked up because it's like, damn, you call the cops. Fuck. But shit, fuck it. My uncle a cop, so y'all know how I feel about that. Like, people be like, oh, black cops ain't good. They all corrupt. No, like, hold on. No, they not. I hear shooting outside my apartment because I live in the hood every night. At, at least about three times a night I hear shooting. And I be like, damn. That's fucked up. <laughs> Did I just hear one now? I don't know. I think that might be the trash can. I'm telling y'all, like, they, they just be shooting. And every time I'm like, man, I don't know where it's coming from. I wonder if the person, I always stop immediately in that moment and pray for whatever just happened. I don't know what it is, Lord, that just happened. But whatever it is, put your hand on it. That that's it. I, I immediately, as soon as I hear it. We just need to can we stop? Can we stop? Like I said, the people who need to hear this probably ain't gonna hear it, but I show sure hope that it touched somebody. And I always say it don't take but to touch one person, and that means I accomplished my mission. Cause everything in the world go viral except what need to. <laughs> Listen, 
Come on, somebody. Why does it that fuck shit go viral, but shit that's important don't? Stuff that people need to hear don't go viral. It be stupid stuff that go viral. It that baffles me. But you know, we in this this new this new age. I don't I don't subscribe to this because I didn't grow up with social media. I don't even like social media. I really don't. I don't I don't I don't like it. If I, I'm cool. I had to take breaks from that because it'd be too much. It'd be too much. And I, it hurts so bad. It just, it hurts so bad to see my people out here just being shot, being robbed, dying in old people, young people, middle aged people. Like, come on, y'all, please. Like, there's another way to resolve issues. Again, if it's self-defense, that's different. Because you come up in here on my ass, on my shit, I'm going to get with you. But just to be doing it for general purposes, just on GP for nothing? Why? Chill, bruh. Chill, sis. What you doing? You kill it. This, this is your people. What are you doing? Come on, this ain't going to get you nowhere in life. This ain't going to get you, you're going to be either in the ground or in jail, which one you want. Because that's where you're going to end up. I'm done preaching to y'all. I just, I just had to get that out because it was heavy on my spirit. And y'all know when stuff is heavy on my spirit, I got to say it. I just, I, I really wish we stopped. If, if black lives matter, black lives got to matter in all ways. They got to matter to us as black people. We have to care about each other. Even, even my enemies, even if I got beef with somebody, I'm going to pray for them. I, every night, God bless my enemies. I'm going to forgive them and pray for them because it's a whole bunch of people where I just want to slap shit out of you like you need your whole ass whooped. Period. I don't, it don't matter what the situation is. It don't matter who it is. But I'm like, you know what? Uh -uh. They, ain't, they ain't came up on me physically, so I'm not even finna stress myself. And I, I don't play by my peace, first of all. I don't, I don't like to disturb my... I keep the sage on, on that. I don't, I don't like you messing with my peace. Don't, don't play with my peace. So we not even finna entertain that negativity. All right. Unless you disrespect me or somebody I know in a way that's going to make me have to open my mouth or open up a can of whoop ass on you. And I'm very protective. I can take a lot of stuff. So people can do stuff to me and it not affect me. But if you play with somebody I love, that's different. See, you're going to see another person come up out of me because I'm very protective. But I ain't finna go out just guns blazing and shooting people and shit. I'm not finna do that. My words are a weapon. That's all I need. Unless somebody pull out a serious weapon on me, that's all I need. I'm going to kill you with my mouth. That's it. I'm going to cut that shit off, knock it down. Or my fingertips. I am not to be played with. And my people are not to be played with. But that's what you call support, love, collaboration, protection. We're supposed to be protecting each other. And we should not have to protect each other against each other. From each other. Why are we doing this? Stop. Stop doing that. Don't do that. I don't, I don't like that. We got to do better. You, and, and you got to support. You got to do something. Like I said, it could be as easy as sharing a post, telling somebody, I, I just anything. If you you you'd be amazed at how much small stuff really affects people. Like you ain't got to do nothing big. You'd be amazed at how much one little small act can affect some things. Because if you have a bunch of small things, right? And you have whether it's a post, whether it's a share, whatever. If you have a bunch of small things, that equals something big. But we don't even have enough little things to make a big impact. So I'm not even, little things, little, little things. 
trying to say what I'm going to say. And I, I'm just, I'm done. I'm floored. I'm done. I, I'm going to keep doing what I, what I know best to do and what God want me to do and ho and pray that I can make a difference. And I know I can, cause I've already made a lot of differences in a lot of people's lives. And that's not bragging. I'm being serious right now. I done helped a lot of people and I'm going to continue to, I don't call myself a motivator for no reason. That ain't just no title. That ain't just nothing I just made up for social media. That's real. I motivate people without even trying. It just happened on accident. It's just who I am as a person because it's what God called me to do. And I listen. So, do better. Period. Do better. All of us, do better. That's it. I hope everybody learned something. This one definitely hit really hard. It hit really different. To know somebody since they were seven to eight years old and to watch them pass away as something just so senseless, it's, it's really sad. And I ask that you continue to pray for the Jones family. And just, y'all, please, let's just love each other. And let's just stop hurting each other. Because this could be you or your family.